So dear students, in this session, we are now going to see simulation of the boost converter. In previous session, we have seen simulation of simple chopper as a switch and simulation of buckling. Now let's see the boost converter. The boost converter circuit is what we have already learned and the voltage across inductor is also shown in this figure. The voltage output V0 is uh, given by V S divided by 1 minus V, where D is the duty ratio. So as D is less than 1, so V S divided by 1 minus V is always greater than 1. That's how you get voltage more than the input voltage and so it is called a boost or step up uh, in uh, step up regulator, step up converter. So now this is going to be the simulation uh, model for the circuit. As you can see over here, uh, compared to previous, what is the change? The inductor is coming in front, switch is now across the supply, and the diode is uh, with a forward wire connection in this tension. Here we are measuring the voltage across the uh, inductor and current to inductor. Right? And expected output is going to be divided by V S divided by one minus V. Right? Now, suppose uh, I would like to select uh, the duty ratio is to be 0.5 or 50 percent. Then expected output will be per 100 volt input is going to be 200. Right? So now we'll see the simulation and verify the case. Here you can see I'll show the simulation slightly later that uh, the output is. Uh, and that is voltage across inductor is Vs and this is minus or V0 minus Vs. So it is 100 and minus 100. Right? The output voltage is going to be uh, 200 volts. Right? And you can see stabilized uh, inductor current in steady state, there is continuous conduction voltage also between the two limits I1 and I2. Right? So this is how the theoretical waveforms are verified in the circuit. In the simulation. Now let's change the D value to say 25% uh, or 0.25. So with this, the expected output is 133.33 volt, and the simulation for the same shows that the voltage across inductor follows the same. As it is only 25% time switch is on, and remaining 75% time switch is off. So you are having V S is equal to 100 volt, and uh, the T of period it is minus 33. So whatever is the expected theoretical same is verified by simulation also, right? Now let's see the uh, simulation actual simulation. So this is the boost converter circuit. You can see this inductor with the value 0.1 Henry as taken over here. Uh, DC voltage is 100 volt. This is the load with 10 ohm resistor. This is diode and a pulse generator. And let us say for first case, let's keep it to be duty ratio to be 50 percent or 0.5. So the expected output is 100 volts, and uh, the voltage across inductor is what we have already shown in the graph. Uh, so uh, we are all good to go. These all the elements are already available in the simulink browser, simulink uh, library, and from there you can select. So I hope you have you know the basics of MATLAB and you can bring all the elements and then you have to use the simulink browser so you can select an item, say diode. So the uh, diode has selected this one. Right, so this is how you can select different components, and then you can right click and then you can say add to the uh, circuit, add to the uh, model. So this is how you can have a different element, you can connect them appropriately uh, with the help of mouse, click and drag and, drag and drop. And then once connection is done, all the values are set. You save with the proper file name, say I'll save with the boost connector, and then. You're good to go. So now I'm click on the run button. Yeah, the simulation is carried out and you can see the output. 
So this is the period in which I have out of case. So initial period as a is where it takes time to stabilize approximately 0.12 to second. Is it not? So I am supposed to whatever we have discussed in our theory is for steady state. So during steady state, there is this region where things are stabilized away from dark in this fashion. Can see the output is 100 to minus 100, so it is between the Vs and minus V0 minus Vs, and the current is also changing between two stable limit voltages. Yeah. So, this is how we can verify uh, what is said in this case. Now, let's change the value of. The time period, uh, sorry, GP cycle ratio. Let's make it 25. So it is 0.25 for which expected output voltage is 133 volts. And let's run the simulation for the state. Once again, you can see this is a region in which I have to check the values. Yes, we are at expectation. And let this access properties. And let this be scale of the current. You can see current is between two limits I1 and I2. And uh, voltage cross inductor is with um, limit P on when it is turned on. The voltage is 100 volt, yes, that is equal to Vs. And this is minus 33 volt, that is uh, minus of Vs uh, minus V2. Right? So that is what is already shown in the um, presentation also. So this is how we can achieve variable DC output, which is more than the supply voltage or more than the input voltage using boost converter. Whatever we have learned in theory, we can verify through simulation in MATLAB in this way. Okay? So that's all in this session. We will uh, simulate boost converter.